Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black and welcome to part 59 of my Let's Play of Amayui Castle Meister. Looks like Kisner has something to say to us. Oh look, it's Kisner. What's she doing? She's got her sword out. Some kind of exercises. <laughs> Isn't it obvious, Fia? But anyway. Fia and Navarro approach Kisner while she is training a group of knights. Alright, begin! La la la. So, she's training them. Well, your form is off. Pay attention to your body as you're doing things. Okay, one, two. You there, you're too slow. Etc., etc., right? So, the two of them, Fia Navarro, just watch for a while. Perhaps a long while. Yawn. Alright, so finally they're taking a break. And we apparently have glasses of fresh water for them and we pass them around. <laughs> ah, well, thanks. She was just getting thirsty. <laughs> and anyway, she noticed we were watching all this time. Although watching this sort of thing isn't interesting, she says. <laughs> Fia disagrees. It was really amazing. So much so she would have liked to join in. Hey, ah! And all that stuff. So she kind of pretends to do a sword thing. <laughs> Maybe with a sword. Alright, Fia. You're holding it wrong. If you do it like that, you'll hurt yourself. Really? Then how about this? Yeah. No, no, it's more like this. You're too hard in your grip. Here, try it like I do it. <laughs> this is hard. Is there even a right way to do this? Of course there's a right way to do it. But, Fia's getting roped in by all the knights who all want to show them their own little tricks. She's kind of popular, isn't she? So, Avaro's left with Kisnir. So, does she always do these trainings? Just a little bit when she has a bit of time. Since they're separated from the main night force, they can't let themselves get out of practice. Heh, <laughs> quite the hard worker, right? Say, Kisnir, are you still a knight of the Infidus Kingdom? Well, yes. She's still a member of the Komodo Dragons. And while she's still the third class visiting commander, she has, you know, technically still got that affiliation. Is that really okay? What with, you know, everything? Yeah. Avaro doesn't really want to spit it out. But Kisnir gets the picture. Well, 
Well, it's true that she doesn't at this time have her loyalty sworn to the kingdom of Intrudus. What with Prince Gilsh being uh, hidden now, the Komodo dragons will probably eventually pull away from the kingdom. And the composition of the force as well as the rules of the force will probably change to the point where the knights here and the knights there are properly recognized as two different units. And once it can be said that can be said of us, then she won't be considered one of Infrudus's people. So yeah, her affiliation was all thanks to Gilsh. And with that particular thing falling apart, it's been a matter of time until she's just another independent worker. So, what is going to happen to these knights that are on top of the castle? They probably won't be able to return properly. Well, all of them each decided to continue on this way by their own will. So everybody who remains here is somebody who wants to remain here. And that's not a few people. Mm, well, in that case, Kisner, are you going to look for another lord and master? Heading to some kingdom and finding another? Well, no. Now she doesn't really have it in her to leave the castle. So, this is a good opportunity, she thinks. She can choose a new master, a new lord here. So she's made up her mind to stick around Gualakuna Castle. This castle has already become her precious hometown in a certain sense. Avara takes the, that as a compliment. So what remains is to choose her new lord. And that would be the representative of the castle and the one who ever guides everyone. Nafia, right? After all, she is the one who decided we'd go to the God's Haze and all. That's right. Hey, what's this? Did you call me? Maybe Fia is a god. Just hearing her name. So we explain it to her. The conversation up to now. So, she thinks that Avaro would be a good choice as Kisnir's lord as well. He's plenty qualified. <laughs> Avaro says it's fine. And he's not the person to be a lord of somebody anyway. The lordship we're talking about is kind of feudal lord and vassal kind of thing. In case I didn't make that clear. And anyway, Avaro doesn't think he's qualified because he's just a craftsman, after all, whom Fia takes advantage of. 
or uses. And he doesn't really have much to add to Kisner's actions anyway. Kinsner basically agrees. She wants to be a servant of the goddess here, which is quite an honorable position. Eh, really. She still thinks Avaro would be a good choice. So you're saying that I shouldn't serve you? No, no. That's not what he is saying here. But let's say this is a prophecy from a god. She thinks the case and will choose Avaro in the end. Cause he's cool. Theologic. Anyway, if Kisnir wants to stand by this decision at the moment, that's fine for now. Well, she is grateful. And now she gets to talk in a bunch of formal ways. <laughs> okay, it's all right. Also, don't speak so formally to me. The way it's been up to now is good. Well, she's quite the lord, isn't she? Really? Hmm. Well. Ah, further. She isn't going to start have a apostle. Uh, uh, she isn't going to do an apostolic contract with Kisnir. So, as far as your status in the castle, consider Avaro above your. Uh, okay. But are you really setting us all in order like that? Really? Not going to become an apostle? Yep. Yep, it's only Avara for her. <laughs> so, that means he's a special relationship with you. The two of you must love each other. Ah, uh, not so much. I've always the one who wants to say that. Okay, so now that we've settled that, what does Fio want Kisnuru to do? Okay, no special things right at the moment. If Kisner continues to act like she always has and do her best for people, that's fine. And if you can, help Avaru, Avaro out. Since he's her apostle, and he's kind of in a well, they say dogi, meaning same manner. Well, you know, the two of them are connected. If you help out Avaro, then you're helping her out. Yes, you be kikota wa imashita. Sore ja watashi wa kore de Avaro tanonda yo. All right, so she said what she needed to say. She'll be leaving now. We're counting on you, Avaro. Avaro says she ran away. 
Of course she ran away. She doesn't like dealing with the specifics of these things. Yep, it's left to Avara. So working for the working for the best of everybody. Uh, she thinks about it a lot. Well, anyway, even if we don't tell you what to do, you seem to be doing a pretty good job in it. So. But she's not fully comfortable just saying as you were. After all, she has had an order to do her best for everybody. And as a particular point to help out Avaro. Yeah, Avaro thinks she's thinking it over too hard. Yeah, Fio wasn't didn't say it with any kind of deep meaning like that after all. Okay, so confirming one thing. Fia's form as a goddess is connected to is heavily reliant on the connections between people. Right? Okay, yeah. Even if Arl doesn't know the really deep specifics. But as the goddess of connections, that's how it works. And the way we work as a company works is for that purpose as well. In order to get the castle moving, we have to make these bonds with people. So, forming connections and the bonds with other people make power from it. And the gods of our, the gods apostle is only of our. Yeah. Okay, she sees. What she needs to do as her, in order to fulfill that first order, Fia has made clear to her. Eh, Avaro doesn't get it. Well, a knight's purpose is to support her lord, and it's not only battle. That's what she's saying. She's got one of those precocious smiles that says she is not quite giving Alvaro everything she's thinking just yet. Oh, by the way, she takes the time to look Alvaro up and down. Yeah, as long as it's Avaro, it'll be all right. Come on, he's not a sausage. <laughs> yeah, Avaro still doesn't get it. But anyway, Kishinu just says that she needs to prepare herself. So I think I know what's coming up between these two soon. Alright, she's returning to that training regimen. And Avaro, as two who we need to be supporting our lord, let's do our best and cooperate. Eh? Uh, yeah, of course. Avaro doesn't get it. Look, does she need to strip down and slap you? But, that's what we get for now. Now, interestingly, we don't have any 
scenes to view and we don't have any new maps. So we get to go back and find something to do otherwise. I've got two basic priorities. One would be to build that new bathhouse for Eol. And the other would be to build this magic, st uh, magic steel pillar, which is supposed to help us find interesting stuff inside the castle. Kind of like a big dowsing rod, I guess. But in order to do that, we need some magic ore, yes. which we haven't been able to find in quite some time, actually. Now, let me just cheat a bit. And we're going to go to a, a particular map here that gives magic ore and, if we only have one star mining, nothing else. So we should be able to get plenty of magic ore from here. This is where we were recruited, Ran Rin Yuiki. So, you should re recognize it a little. Looks like I left some goddess cards behind as well. Yes, Ikuze! Oh uh, yes, if I want to close up those... If I want to close up those um, whirlpools, I'm going to have to send somebody who can fly as well. And... I think it's best that we also grab this stuff. You're not important for yourself today, Fia. You're just important because you can deploy flying characters. Come to think of it, those two ghosts can also fly. But this will be fine for now. All these enemies. Alright, keep moving, Avara. Since we're a bit over level, it should be pretty easy to clear these guys out. Although in this game there is level scaling. It's so annoying, really. We. So, these are guys are level 25, which is the average level of my team. In spite of the fact that this was done when we were level 17. Well, that's what level scaling's all about. Jeez. That's more like it. What? Avaro doesn't have the capture rope on. Well, hopefully it won't kill it. Hmm, actually it's a bit dangerous to have one on in around with these red bugs. She's weak against fire. Although we're still over level, perhaps she'd be fine. Jeez, knock it off, you ugly whatever the hell you are. What is this thing anyway? It's a lightning lizard dog. Nope, I don't want to kill it, I want to capture it. You stupid and ugly, stupid, ugly guy.
Oh yeah, the animations are still on. <laughs> Baro has been really paralyzed. Well, let's get Fia out there. Or no. Let's have Ronrin come over and heal his ass. We captures. Well, probably this guy won't attack Arvaro. If he does, I'll rewind time, I guess. So, Detail dishes it out. Oh yeah, he definitely won't be attacking Arvaro now. Hey, maybe in the future I should cut these take back missions or back maps. Oh man, I'm gonna take this though. I said I was gonna heal Avaro, but that was just the perfect opportunity. Yeah, that's not surprising, but fortunately Deedhelm has a ton of defense. Norvar can I finally move again. Oh, ouch. Indeed, I actually can't take that. Alright. Heal of all. And get a level up. That's okay. Stupid, ugly, ugly, stupid things. Yes, much easier for Avaro. Okay, consider no. I still need to go back to that giant level and eventually grab an Earth Claw from those guys. Alright, let's see what we get. Are we going to get 10 magic ores? Check it out, we got 10 magic ores. Plus some other stuff. Yep, the rest were pretty well uh, divided up. No, oh, now we've got a new scene. But let's just train for now. The new guys need the basic stuff, still. Right. Fire resistance, thunder resistance. Uh, no. Let's use the one star thunder instead of the three star one. 
またいずれねあばらこないかな Now next up we're going to build that What was it? We're going to build the item that lets us go deeper into the castle next time So thank you for watching and I will see you next time <laughs>